An eye for detail is crucial in the field of architecture. The buildings they design often start from just paper, a sharp pencil, and a steady hand. Stephen Balkoff's love of detail naturally drew him to the field of architecture, but the drafting table just couldn't hold his interest. So he did what any reasonable fellow would do and took up the mantle of a starving artist. Let's see how that worked out for him. The Big Oak in Geneva holds a special place in Stephen Malkoff's heart. You might say the renowned artist owes his career to his wife Lori's love for this majestic old tree. The tree was very special to her. And, you know, I wanted to give her something really special for an anniversary, but I had no money. But she loves the tree, and I can draw. So drawing a tree out of love turned into a career. As you can see from his gift to his wife, calling what Stephen does drawing is a bit of an understatement. The Coffee County native has made a name for his incredibly detailed pencil creations. No surprise for a guy trained as an architect. Like many artists, the climb to success was a bumpy one for Stephen. He took a job working long shifts as a fireman to allow for time to work on his sketches. When he needed expensive camera equipment for his art, his wife sold her car for the money. Even when his break finally came, Stephen's faith in his calling was initially tested. I was selling prints in Jacksonville, Florida. There's a famous tree there called the Treaty Oak. And I told Lori, I said, trust me on this one, Lori. This was going to be a good print. It's right in the middle of the city. Everybody knows about it. It's magnificent. Well, the first office I walked into in Jacksonville, Florida, the guy said, what are you doing here? I said, well, I'm Stephen Malkoff. I drew the big tree. He said, get out of my office. I said, yes, sir. And I, I felt like such a failure because this is what God has called me to do. And I had an argument with God in the, in the middle of the street out there. Stephen's prayer was interrupted by a tap on his shoulder from a stranger who not only purchased the drawing, but left an encouraging prediction on his future. He said, you're a Christian. He said, I have a word specifically for you. He said, you've been sowing seed for 10 years and you're about to reap a harvest. Not long after he returned from Jacksonville, Stephen was contacted by Southern Living Magazine, who wrote a feature on his work. When Southern Living came down and wrote that article about me, it put me on the map. And all of a sudden my phone started ringing and people started calling. And people were like, Stephen, I've got a tree on my farm. I would love for you to come see it. Known by some as the tree man, Stephen has traveled far and wide drawing some of the world's most incredible trees. But it would be in the world of college sports that the former Auburn walk-on would make his next impact. I called Roy Crow at the Raptor Center out of the blue. I said, Mr. Roy Crow, I'd like to draw one of the eagles for Auburn. He said, well, let's talk about it. I said, can you help, help me get some publicity with that? He said, well, why don't we unveil it on the field? I said, that'll work. <laughs> Stephen's rendering of Auburn's Eagle, Tiger, was such a hit, Stephen began to reach out to other fan bases. Today, his collection of college animal mascot drawings are some of his most popular offerings. I'll walk in an office and I say, anybody here War Eagle? And uh, they say, get out of here, roll tide. I say, I'll be right back. Now I'll go get my elephant. <laughs> Stephen's work in college athletics and historic trees came together when Auburn's historic Toomer's Oaks were poisoned in 2010. Wanting to preserve their legacy, the university called on Stephen to draw the dying trees before they were taken down. When I drew our trees at Auburn, people literally would have tears running down their cheeks because art should move you. Art should mean something to you. And drawing those trees means so much to the Auburn community. When I'm drawing, I don't get worried. I don't get stressed out about it. I just go on the great gift that God's given me, and I draw the lights and darks that I see. And when I finish, it's perfect. It's always nice when I find Stephen A. Malkoff and put a scripture on there, and I look back at it. You know, that process, it's like, OK, it's time to go fishing. Stephen said that not long after he drew the Geneva Oak for his wife, a man who saw it on display at an art show offered him $10,000 for the original. He admits he was tempted, but Stephen turned the offer down. 
His online gallery is a great stop to see the amazing variety of landmark trees and collegiate imageries drawn over the years. It's at MalkoffGallery.com. When Simply Southern continues, it's the newest thing on Alabama farms, industrial hemp. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes on to the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. Farm Bureau Bank has built its entire existence around the lifestyle and needs of farmers and ranchers across America. We're here to help grow traditions, give back to agricultural communities, and offer financial convenience for your unique way of life. From sunup to sundown, we are committed to serving you. I take pride in the product that we produce as a catfish farmer. Hi, I'm Willard Poe and I'm the 2019 Alabama Catfish Farmer of the Year. When I go out to a restaurant and see people eating U.S. farm-raised catfish, you know, that, that gives you a sense of pride and a sense of joy. Uh, knowing that, you know, you have produced a product that uh, other people, you know, enjoy. Other people love to go out and eat.